Hey guys, I hope you've had a great week. This video is just quite a short one. I've noticed that with the change in weather here in London, where it's starting to get so much colder, my body is wanting different things like warm food, curling up on the sofa, and I'm also feeling a lot more stiff than usual. So if you are feeling the same, then this one is for you. It's just designed to get the body moving from the comfort of your own home. So you can just grab your mat and let's get started. So sitting down on your mat, start by dropping the head down and then taking the right hand behind the left ear and using the weight of the arm to just draw the head down, extending through the neck, finding a nice big stretch. And then releasing and taking it over to the other side, dropping the head down to the left this time, using the right hand to just draw the head down, finding that extension through the neck. And then coming back to center, taking a few rolls with the shoulders in one direction, and then taking them back the other way, just nice and gentle movement. And then as you inhale, reach the arms over the head, take hold of the right wrist with the left hand, and as you exhale, draw the arms over to the left. Imagine that you're breathing into the two sides of the waist to extend a little bit more. And as you inhale back to center, exhale, swap it over to the other side, drawing the arms over to the right. Breathing into the space between the ribs in the side of the body. And then coming back to center, interlacing the fingers, turning the palms up towards the ceiling, take a big stretch. And then relax it back down, shrug out the shoulders, making your way to come and stand up tall at the top of your mat drawing the toes to touch, rolling the shoulders down the back, reaching the arms over the head, interlace the fingers, push the palms up, full body stretch. And as you exhale, release the arms down. Inhale to sweep them high. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms up, full body stretch. This time as you exhale, folding all the way forwards, stepping the feet about hip width apart, and just letting the head hang heavy, maybe taking a few little bobs. Catching hold of the elbows, relaxing the tension from the jaw, the neck, letting gravity just do the work to pull you down. Releasing the elbows, just letting the hands hang. And then heel toeing the feet all the way to the edges of the mat so that the toes turn outwards, squatting down into our malasana, our yogi squat, bringing the hands to the heart center and lengthening the back of the body. So imagine the crown of the head to the tailbone is the longest line you possibly can. And then coming up, releasing the hands to the floor, turning the feet parallel. As you inhale, lengthen forwards. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, coming halfway up, lengthen the spine. Exhale to fold. This time as you inhale, reaching all the way up, reach the hands over the head. And as you exhale, draw them through the heart center. Stepping back with the right foot, coming into a high lunge on the left side, extending through the fingertips, squaring off the hips. And as you exhale, release the palms, frame the foot. Step the right foot halfway forwards and extend through the spine, coming into a fold over the left leg. So keeping the two legs and the spine straight, the feet are hip width apart. And then beginning to walk the hands forward, send the weight into the left leg and lift the right foot away from the ground, sending it towards the ceiling, standing split. And then softening the knee all the way down to the outside of the left foot, we're taking a spinal twist, bringing the left arm to the base of the spine. The right arm comes to the outside of the left leg. As you inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, twisting to gaze over the left shoulder. As you inhale, unravel all the way around. Place the hands either side of the foot, extending the right leg all the way up, standing split. And then lowering it back down, reaching the arms up, high lunge. 
Good, switching on the glutes, releasing the hands to frame the foot, stepping back to downward facing dog as you exhale. Inhale, coming up onto the tiptoes, stepping the feet all the way forwards to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen forwards, exhale to fold. Inhale to sweep the arms all the way over the head, gaze at the thumbs, and as you exhale, hands through the heart center, release to the sides. Stepping back with the left foot this time, reaching the arms up, high lunge, right knee is stacked above the ankle. And then lowering the hands to frame the foot, stepping the left foot halfway forwards, straightening through the legs and the upper body. As you exhale, folding over the right leg, find that stretch through the hamstring, using the breath to carry you a little bit deeper. And then with your inhale, walk the hands forward, lifting the left leg high, coming into a standing split, working the upper body towards the right shin. And then softening the left knee down to the outside of the right foot for a spinal twist. Taking the left arm to the outside of the right knee, the right arm supports the spine, lengthening through the crown of the head as you inhale. Exhale, deepening the twist. Good. with your next breath. And then unraveling round, taking the hands either side of the right foot, pushing all the way back up to your standing split, softening the front knee, stepping the left foot away, coming back to your high lunge. And then releasing the hands either side of the foot as you step back to your downward facing dog. Finding the breath, sucking in the core as you step the feet all the way to the top of the mat. Softening the knees, coming to crouch down at the top of the mat, taking hold of opposite elbows around the knees and maybe lowering the forehead down. See if you can balance by engaging through the core and then release the hands down, separating the feet hip width apart and come into your forward fold. Shaking out the hips, letting the head and the hands hang heavy. Softening the shoulders, the jaw, the back of the neck. And as you inhale, lengthen forwards halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, gazing to the thumbs. As you exhale, release the hands. Interlace them behind the back. Inhale to broaden through the collarbone, lifting the chest. And as you exhale, slowly begin to tilt all the way forwards. You can soften the knees as you send the fist over the head. Just a little bit deeper with each breath, drawing up through the belly to create a little bit more space. And then releasing the hands, bending the knees, coming all the way down to sit on the mat. Lengthen through the spine, drawing the soles of the feet together, moving the heels up towards you, creating a nice long front and back of the body. As you begin to work the knees towards the ground without pulling and straining too much on the hips, just gently opening up the feet, releasing the knees down. And then shuffling the heels away from you, this time you can let the upper body flop down, rounding through the spine, the backs of the hands to the floor. And then as you inhale, coming to roll yourself back up, releasing down to the mat. And then drawing the knees into the chest, bringing the forehead up for a big squeeze. And then coming down to find your Shavasana. Letting the backs of the hands rest against the floor, softening the shoulders and coming to the breath. Staying here for as long as you like. 
before starting to introduce gentle movement to the fingers and toes. Inhaling the arms over the head, full body stretch, drawing the knees to the chest and squeezing into a little ball. Gently rocking your way up to come and sit up tall on your mat, lengthening through the crown of the head. I hope you're feeling good after that little bit of movement. Honestly, just a little bit each day can make such a difference. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to see more from me, then subscribe to my channel. And if there's anything in particular you wanna see, then make sure you leave a comment in the box below. See you soon.